It's time to get your risk on. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching my video. I'm Digitalic. I'm a Grandmaster ranked online risk player. And for you today, we're the blue man from Angola, I think. And we're going to go back to Classic Fix. We haven't played Classic Fix on the channel in a while. I think it's time we go back to our roots. And it looks like one person didn't ready up. So we're going to play a five player game with a bot. Blizzards. Nothing insane. Um, I am currently the blue player. I have a lot of material in North America. I go second. I don't get extra troops. But I also have a lot of material in uh, Australia. White's a bot, so I don't really need to worry about the bot coming in and messing with me. And I think North America kind of has a lot of other material in it. So maybe it's better for me to work on Australia. And then red can go for Europe, right? Uh, red doesn't get any extra troops as well. Yeah, I think that's the plan. So I think we knock red out of Indonesia and then we pull the stack in. Maybe red chooses to put on this stack and come in, but it is what it is. So let's try it out. We're just going to hit Indonesia and get perfect dice. <laughs> Roll like a god. We're not taking it but just in case red comes in. A lot of you might say, oh, but it's called risk for a reason. Yeah, and as I say always, there's good risk and there's bad risk. I don't like that. Okay, and anyway, it looks like Red's putting into... Looks like Red wants Europe anyway, so we're good. Um, let's make an alliance with that Red player after the turn. They act quickly, which I appreciate. We may as well make an alliance with the pink player and the black player, and we'll do the orange player after their turn. Okay, pink wants to be my ally. Fantastic. And by the way, guys, the channel is still growing. I appreciate you all. If you want to help me continue to grow this channel, you can do so just by making sure that you're subscribed. And if you take a second and smash that like button on the video, please and thank you. Okay, it looks like Orange wants the South American position. If that bot hits... If that bot hits Siam... <sighs> it is going to hit. No, it doesn't. It goes up. I did not expect that to happen. It does roll down towards Siam. Which is actually okay, because I can defend against that. Uh, but then it fortifies away, which I like as well. Let's ask Orange for an alliance now that they're finished their turn. And they say yes, so we're going to give them a thumbs up. Fellow Canadian, it looks like. Though they don't know that I'm from Canada, they think I'm from Angola. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Okay, Red finally accepted my alliance request, so we'll give him a thumbs up. Oh, Black says, screw you, Red, you're not getting Europe. You're getting dead, that's what you're doing. And they 4v2 pink, okay, cool, just to bring troops in. Fantastic. I would have brought the outer throw, they're going to do the outer three, good. Yeah, I would have done that first. Because it's less likely that that the bot's gonna break your chain if it's if the chain's sh shorter, so you can bring that in next turn. It looks like the red player is looking pretty weak. Okay, Pink continues to work on Africa. Now I'm going to take Australia this turn. I think it's worth it now. Uh, we don't really. We can even if we get bad dice, we should be just fine. I'm rolling like an absolute god. That was insane. Okay, we have to go to back to Indonesia and protect against this bot. And we probably should hit Siam as well before the bot puts a big stack here. If the bot puts a big stack here, it could hamper our growth. Okay, what's Red going to do? Are they going to come out of Europe or are they going to go back into Europe? Red seems like they're a fast player. I don't think that they're gonna they're gonna smack me, but you never know. You never know. Now I might not actually hit Siam now, because it's it's actually advantageous to me if the bot puts a stack there, because it acts as an, a layer of defense for me. So I will spend troops in North America. Okay, Black wants to be my ally. Cool stuff, man. Yep, we're good. And there's your thumbs up. White bot does some punching in Asia. It's going to be pretty weak soon. And also, pink's pretty weak too.
the only player that isn't really weak is me, black, and orange. Black black does roll four v two, so we know that we're gonna they're gonna roll Iceland with that four. Yep. Yeah. Are they gonna yeah, they lost the roll. This is why four v twos are not a good only I only roll four v twos if I need to. Right? I don't think you needed to in that case. Maybe I was wrong and I didn't notice. Okay, so it's pink and hit the bot here. Wisely not feeding the bot. I'm gonna put one troop here. The rest here. We're gonna roll blocks. Another perfect roll! And let's bring the three onto the two and try and push the bot from not from hitting it, Kamchatka. It's time to get your comment of the day on. But before we do that, I just want to give a shout out to Tuscany, a viewer of mine who's watching from her hospital bed. Tuscany, we love you. We hope you get better soon. And thank you for watching the video. Okay, today's comment of the day goes to Thomas Jamas, who said <laughs> he forgot to say good game to the zombies. And you know what? You're absolutely right, man. Where is my sportsmanship? In the last zombies video I did, I killed the zombies and I didn't show any respect for my competitor and I didn't say good game before I finished them off. I will do better in the future, I promise, Thomas. And thank you so much for the comment. And guys, if you want your comment featured on my show, all you have to do is leave a funny or insightful comment on any of my videos. And if I like it enough, I will feature it on the show. These dice, my dice are insane this game. Where does red go? Where does red go? Okay, orange gets to take North America. They don't hurt my they don't hit my position. I will evacuate my troops next turn. Do I have a set? I do have a big set. Can we try it? Is there a kill chain here? Is there a kill chain here? Red and white? Mmm, 29 troops for six cards. And pink. Oh, pink sets. Okay, there's no more kill chain. No, I would need pink on four cards with, with so little troops. That's too bad. Sometimes you don't get the, the you know... Red for three cards. And the bot for three cards, too. I think so. Half decent roll. Actually, do I have enough for the bot? The bot is tight. Oh, I gotta go fast. I'm gonna kill the bot. Big trade, plus twos. Where are my plus twos? Mongolia, Kamchatka, Afghanistan. I'll take Afghanistan. I've got a stack there. No, I don't, but it doesn't matter. And we'll bring the five in from here. Okay, I have a locked army, but I'm 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 sizable. I'm not worth four cards killing. Okay, orange sets. They're probably gonna knock me out of North America and try and take it for themselves. Yeah, they are. They're gonna smoke my three. No, they don't. Okay. Well, I can use that for a take next turn. I want Orange to take North America and sh and and hope that they attempt to hold South America as well. Because um, if they take North America, they give up South America, I could become a victim of, of, of a squeeze play. I have not seen the squeeze play pulled pulled in a ranked lobby in ages. It seems to be something that's only done in, you know, when you have mostly masters and grandmasters. But... Okay, Pink hits the Middle East for card passes. I 
I don't have a trade, but that's okay. So we'll just, we'll hit orange for a card and then we'll pull the three right out. Center the map a little bit better for you guys. And they take, do they pull the 10 in? They lose the 3v1. That's probably good for them. They don't want to close their stack. Okay, and they and they interior guard their army. And they don't bring the 10 back in. Well, that could be a recipe for war, if you ask me. And what does the black player do? Black is spending a lot of time in draft. They wake up at the end of their turn timer and they smoke the orange player, this is fantastic. And pink opens my stack. That's fantastic as well, because I left this three in Afghanistan. So it tells me, if I was pink, I would have hit that three. So we have to trade plus two in Siam or Mongolia. We want Siam, because that's where we're sitting. And we'll just get a take off of this. No reason to do anything here. Maybe orange hits black through pink. Oh, yes! Black has five cards. Black might go absolutely ham on orange. If that's the case, I think I have to kill the pink player if pink doesn't set. I would need a trade, I think, to do it. I don't have it. Okay, black sets. How hard do they hit orange? You gotta act faster, black. Too indecisive here. Did they quit? No, they're just they're gonna hit orange. They're gonna they're just gonna reconstitute. And black player is slow. That's a good thing to, to check out. I wonder if pink is gonna hit orange back for breaking them. Come on. Oh, they smoke the eleven. Let's see what pink does. And does pink set? Pink doesn't set, but they're on four cards. That is a risky, risky kill. But it's one that I'm not adverse to. I won't be able to follow up with a kill of orange. 44 to kill 40 is a little bit tight. I think I'm going to pass on the risk. I'm just going to hit Japan. Oof. Okay, we'll bring a three into the stack. Do we have a set? We do. Okay. Okay, and these guys are fighting. I wish I... You know what? I should have killed pink. I might even still be able to kill pink, but I don't want to kill them for one card. If pink doesn't set, they're 100% going to die. Oh, black's trying to calm the waters. Good, nice dice. Yeah, I should have killed pink there. Pink does not trade. Killing pink might bring attention to me, but it also it advances the game. So let's do it. Oh, garbage roll. Not a great roll either.
Oh, I got my good roll in the deuce. Oh no! Now oh, I can't even kill Orange. It's, well, it wasn't even really close. I'm, I'm gonna keep my 20 here. Uh, I'm not gonna move it, because if I move it over here onto Black, it looks aggressive. And tell, them, tell Orange to attack my territory if you need to. Oh, sorry, sorry, I mean, I, I, well, I, oh, shit, I said the wrong thing. And tell Black the same thing. I'm the blue player, I thought I was the orange player. Do I have a trade now? I don't have a trade, oh no! Come on, hit him. Amazing. Is black killable? If, if black doesn't trade, this game ends. Black absolutely needs to trade if they have it. I will... Okay, good for them. Do they pump this trade into orange? I wish I had a trade. I'm going to tell Black, I'm sorry I need to attack your territory. I'm not going to break Orange. Tell Orange, attack my territory if you need to. Tell Black, attack my territory if you need to. Oh, I forgot to fortify. Whoops. And say attack Black. Oh my god, this is... This won't even trade them in. This game's over. I have five cards. So orange kills black. They don't trade. But I've got a double troop advantage. And I have a... I have a big trade. Oh, and they... Yeah, good game. They know it's over. Yeah, good game. Yeah, this is over. Plus two in Egypt. I think that's what we want. Oh yeah, we have more than enough to kill them. We don't even have to slide her. We can be well played in a good game. And they're gentlemen. They give me a well played in a good game back. Mad respect to my opponent. And a great game. Um, I think that... I think orange and black are intermediates. I think the pink player is also an intermediate. Let's see how he did. Okay, pink was an expert, not an intermediate. Um, black was a beginner, orange was a novice, and red was a beginner. All right, guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitch. Link's in the description. And until I see you next time, keep fighting that good fight.